everybody. I'm Danielle McLay, owner of The Little Gym of Roxbury. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Lauren. I'm the director here at The Little Gym of Roxbury. And we're so excited to be reopening on July 20th. On behalf of Mr. George and I, we're so happy that you've been patient and supporting our business. We want to provide you with the best reopening experience. Our The Little Gym of Roxbury is part of an international franchise. However, we are also a small family owned business. We are required to follow not only regulations from the state of New Jersey, but also guidelines from USA Gymnastics and the Little Gym International. Starting July 20th, we are going to begin opening our class and summer camps on a modified schedule. Please remember that you are more than welcome to continue participating in the Little Gym at Home subscription classes. When you come back to the Little Gym beginning July 20th, we want to make you aware of some new procedures and enhancements. We have made them to help your in-gym experience. At the Little Gym, we use three-dimensional learning to help develop your child, so we're going to break this down into three different parts. They go along with our learning philosophy. First, let's get moving. Arrival. When you arrive at the Little Gym, we will have our serious fun line that will form on the sidewalk right outside our front door. You can see there are chalk lines indicating where you should stand six feet apart while waiting to enter the facility. But here's the best part. While you're standing there, we want you to try our super quest. And don't forget to take plenty of pictures. As you move down the sidewalk, we'll have our temperature taker ready to greet you and your child with a magic thermometer. The magic thermometer won't ever touch your skin and it will let us know if it's safe for your child to enter the little gym. If we get a green light, you are good to go. If we get an orange light, we'll have to schedule another time for you to visit the gym. Once you're inside the gym, we start practicing our brain boost portion of the three-dimensional learning. As you enter the building, you will sign off on your child's temperature. Then, you will see the shoe cubbies that have hand sanitizer on it. Please make sure you sanitize you and your child's hands right away. You can also visit the restroom that is in our party dance room to wash your hands. Your temperature taker will direct you to a colored spot in the lobby where you will wait your turn to enter the gym. Kids will want to go ahead and remove their socks and shoes. Parents entering the gym for parent-child classes will need to have socks on. If your child is in a pre-K or grade school class, we'll ask them to leave their socks and shoes in a cubby in the lobby. Then the instructor will direct you to a spot on the big red mat. If your child is in a pre-K class, grade school class, or camp, the students will enter the building by themselves, while the parent is allowed to wait in our outdoor seating area just outside the gym. Masks are required for parents and children three or older while at the little gym. The instructor will give each student a spot as they enter the gym, and once in their designated spot, students are allowed to lower their masks. However, while practicing skills with the instructor, students will have to raise their masks. The students will have their class and then exit out the gym side door that leads to the lobby. After class, the students will put on their shoes, hand sanitize, and then be released one by one to their parent that will be waiting in our outdoor chairs. Students will be released to their parents one at a time. Now how is all of this brain boost activity? Kids will practice listening skills and concentration as they learn the new entrance and exit procedures, and we bet there will be some problem solving along the way. Our final learning step is Citizen Kid. What better way to teach our kids about teamwork, patience, and helping others than by practicing moving within a certain space? Don't worry, we have all kinds of creative ways we're going to help kids practice some social distancing. Parents, you have a role too. In a parent-child class, you will still be participating with your child. We will have five kids in a class and five parents, so there is only one parent adult with each child. Parents must wear socks and face masks. We know this may be uncomfortable for some of you, but hey, let's all work together by following our local requirements and showing our kids how we are protecting each other. In all other classes, we will need to have parents and siblings remain in their cars or in our outdoor seating. For pre-K classes, we will have no more than 10 kids in a class with two instructors. For grade school classes, we will have no more than nine kids in a class with one instructor. If for some reason your child is having a hard time going back into the gym, we will have some standing room only designated for parents. But keep in mind that we will need you to wear your fancy face mask while you're in the facility. Our last enhancement is our cleaning. 
Maintaining a clean environment for our families has always been a top priority, and we're going to continue to clean our facility all throughout the day. Our detailed cleaning checklists include deep cleaning, lobby cleaning, and then restroom and gym cleanings every hour. We will also be disinfecting our mats and other surfaces in the gym between every class. We use an EPA-registered disinfectant that meets the EPA's criteria for use against SARS, COV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, and our disinfecting procedures are in alignment with the CDC recommendations. If you would like to see any of our cleaning checklist or materials we use to clean, feel free to ask. As you can see, some things are going to change in order for us to comply with all of the local health department regulations. But rest assured, some things will never change. Like the smiles, the fun, and the air high fives we can now give your kids. Like the truly non-competitive environment that allows children to make mistakes and get back up and try again. Like progressive curriculum that allows children to develop at their own pace like the special directive music that you can only find at the little gym that helps with teamwork, cooperation, and listening skills. Like your instructors who are here to help your child develop physically, emotionally, cognitively, and socially. Thank you for your support. We are so excited to see you at the little gym of Roxbury for some serious fun. Happy handstand.